So some people are wondering what on earth is it that CIFA, the Chartered Institute for Archaeologists, uh, CBA, the Council for British Archaeology, and FAME, or FAME, the Federation of Archaeological Managers and Employers, can possibly do about the situation in Ukraine. And I've made a handy dandy list here because we've had sweet FA so far. So here we go. Here's a list for you. Um, number one, at the very least, and this is in capitals, very least, uh, make a similar statement of solidarity to that which we've seen from comparable institutions in countries like Germany, America and Ireland and so on and so forth. It costs you nothing. In fact, it looks quite good. Consider it. You know, an awful lot of archaeologists care about this and you are supposed to represent us. You are our leaders, supposedly. Number two, highlight the government sponsorship scheme. Even our cynical government when it comes to influx of people have actually set up a scheme that helps people help other people uh, this could be done as it pertains to charities and other institutions within the heritage sector and at the very least we can offer safe harbor to citizens who are archaeologists and their families if you want to chart an institute for archaeology uh, go down that route because you obviously you like to define what what the profession of an archaeologist should be and you have your different status of archaeologists and different levels then you know use it do it engage with archaeologists who are fleeing this 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 war zone anything would be great number three offer advice and information to encourage large units such as wessex mola and others to follow suit where you go hopefully they would follow and that doesn't mean put pressure on anyone but just make the advice available on a similar note number four highlight the Hague convention encourage um, uh, the creation of forums in public spaces to discuss the importance of preserving heritage and cultural even intangible cultural uh, uh, treasures so that people have something to return to in Ukraine as and when they can saving people is one thing but as archaeologists we also care about archaeology and heritage and culture so highlight public conversations do a public conversation have public conversations at least number five reach out to the pe to the public and highlight the ways in which the historic environment is at risk how history and modern warfare are connected and generally raise the standard of conversation surrounding the relevance of the historic environment in a generalized view of our lives i.e name the stakes what's at risk what is being lost in addition to people's homes in addition to people's uh, livelihoods we've seen theaters and museums and and other places being targeted indiscriminately what is the risk what are the stakes again costs you nothing but it could really help the public conversation here in the uk if nothing else number six stop being so tone deaf Tweeting about inclusivity, neurodiversity and ethics while burying your heads on this issue is inconsistent to say the least. And that's the most polite word I can possibly think of to use in this instance. Um, if you want the kudos of managing this sector, if you want to be the Chartered Institute for Archaeology, if you want to be Council for British Archaeology and, and, and not allow... Uh, grassroots campaigns to 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 represent archaeology on the on the, the public sta uh, stage uh, if you uh, want to represent managers and employers then do it be leaders if you want to run the sector then run it lead do something so many archaeologists care about this stuff i care about this stuff and I'm going to keep on hassling until something happens. So far we've seen a, a retweet from uh, a CIFA sub account, a subcommittee that so far, has, including this retweet, had tweeted 36 times. Um, and that's it. Oh, we also saw a retweet from CBA as well. But nothing actually out of your own mouths. <sighs> Please, do something. Step up.